Hi, today we're looking at the VMware Test Drive Portal. If, if this is something you're not familiar with, this is just a quick introduction to show you what's here and how you can use it to your benefit. Um, in here, <coughs> you have uh, access to our EUC portfolio of products. It's a couple of other tabs, but today I'm just going to focus on the digital workspace section. So in here, you have access to a Workspace ONE environment. So this will allow you to look at a portal which has aggregated various applications whether they're from uh, you know, a native platform, so an iOS or an Android application or you know, Mac or Windows 10, as well as SaaS-based apps and web apps and virtual applications. Workspace ONE UEM allows you to look at the actual management of devices. So this is more the management console rather than the user experience, which is what you'd get with this Workspace ONE tab. Horizon Cloud, this allows you to either connect to a hosted environment on IBM infrastructure or on Microsoft Azure. And from here, you can both look at applications and, and virtual desktops, as well as the admin console. Horizon is looking at the Horizon 7.x um, product. <clears throat> and in here, you can connect to one of three data centers, whether that's in the US, uh, Asia Pacific, or EMEA. And then you can test out the performance from one of those DCs. These servers themselves have virtual GPUs in there, so they're good for that high performance testing. App Volumes um, allows you to look at the App Volumes product and how that can help you in delivering applications to your virtual desktop environment. And then User Environment Manager is um, kind of goes hand in hand a little bit with App Volumes and that whole Horizon experience. But User Environment Manager, which has actually just been renamed to Dynamic Environment Manager allows you to look at that kind of user profile management across those different desktops. You also have options around some sandbox uh, environments, whether that's uh, Workspace ONE, whether that's Identity Manager, which is just a kind of uh, identity access piece, or Workspace ONE Express. And there's also the ability to integrate some SaaS apps for your testing. So the sandbox is beneficial if you wanted to uh, change some configurations. The Workspace ONE UEM environment here is very good for testing. Um, but I kind of view it very much as read only. So you can't really add in lots of your own applications or profiles, things like that. Whereas you could with your uh, sandbox environment if you were using that. So if we go back up the top as an example, um, if you click on launch, it will basically then give you those options. If for some reason you can't remember your password, you can drop down and view those credentials here. So you're able to get in. There's also, in every one of these drop downs, there's also lots of walkthrough guides. This is also a searchable area. So if you come over here to walkthroughs and videos, there's step by step guides showing you how to test and demonstrate the product or this particular solution, as well as videos showing you that. If you have any problems, there's also a contact us section, so you can raise a ticket with the support team. But if I click on one, just as an example, uh, let's go on Workspace ONE, and then from launch from there, it would then trigger a connection to the environment. So if I then go with my environment, as you can see, it's authenticated me and taken me through. And then from here, this is that uh, kind of aggregated portal that I mentioned. So in here, I have applications. SaaS based apps like Office 365 and Salesforce, as well as published applications and published desktops. Um, that's really what I wanted to show you, just a quick look at uh, that test drive portal and how it can help you with your testing of your end user compute products and solutions. Thanks for your time.